Lawyers of Reddit, what was your oh shit moment in court? Sat in on a personal injury case where the plaintiff broke their leg in an accident and had a doctor on the stand as an expert. The woman's lawyer begins questioning the doctor about their experience with leg injuries, he was a well-known orthopedic surgeon in the area. She asks if he's ever treated a tibula fracture, the leg bones or tibia and fibula, to which he only answers no then she starts grilling him with questions about the tibula. After about six to seven questions she asks how did you get a medical license and have been able to practice medicine this long if you've never treated a tibula fracture? And begins a small rant about going after his credentials and those that gave it to him, to which he simply responds there is no bone named the tibula. The lawyer became beat red and everyone in the room tried their best to keep from laughing including the judge. I was representing a plaintiff in a hit and run case. Plaintiff is testifying and is, despite me preparing them for several hours the previous day, an absolutely terrible witness for her own case. Like, she couldn't even identify the street she was crossing when she was hit by the car. It was a major highway and we had gone through the sequence of events countless times the day before the hearing. The oh shit moment came during cross-examination. Defense counsel pulls out a picture of my client dressed up and ready to hit the club which was posted to Facebook the day after the alleged accident. I thinking quickly, object because the timestamp refers to when it was posted, not when it was taken. Defense counsel show the picture to my client and asked her when the picture was taken. Sure enough, they say it was taken the day after the accident when she was supposedly in unbearable pain. Oh. Shit. When I was in college, I was a bailiff. Guy is on trial for murder. First witness testified that she saw the defendant shoot the victim. Second witness states the same. Police officer testimony is that he arrived at the scene and defendant was there holding the gun. Coroner testimony is that the first bullet hit the victim in the arm, the second bullet hit the victim in the torso, and the third bullet hit the victim in the heart which was the fatal shot. Defendant yells out see that proves that I didn't kill him, I only shot the motherfucker twice. I was a baby lawyer in my first year representing the 19-year-old child of some rich people in San Mateo County CA. My client had gone on a bit of a shoplifting spree, and we were cleaning all her cases up with a global plea, meaning we handled them all at once. Being new, I filled out the plea form wrong swapping the counts she was charged with for the counts she was pleading to. It's an easy mistake to make. Every court has their own unique form, and I was unfamiliar with San Mateo's. The judge calls my line, starts reading off the plea form, notices the mistake, and then starts screaming at the top of his lungs counsel. What is this? What is this? Is this your first day on the job? This is a court if law, and we do not accept mistakes. Fill this plea form OIT correctly, or I will have you taken into custody for contempt. I did not expect a reaction like that. My client, who had clearly just taken a huge bong rip at 8 a.m., and who was wearing an all-pink velvet track suit was looking at me like I was the biggest idiot in the world. I corrected the plea form. The judge made me wait until the very end of the calendar to take my plea. Afterward, he called me up to the bench. In private he told me, sorry to ream you like that. Everyone messes the plea form up so I always pick the youngest lawyer to yell at. The older guys will grumble and complain, but if you notice they all fixed their own forms and we didn't have any more problems. Keeps the calendar running smooth. Where did you go to law school? After that he invited me into his office for coffee and gave me some really good life work advice. Turns out he likes talking to new lawyers. TL, DR, judge losses his shit in court over a simple mistake, turns out it was all a show for the other lawyers and I have one of the worst best court experiences of my early career. Represented a woman charged with multiple very serious felonies. She insisted that in the months before the offense, she'd been seriously dating one of the detectives who ultimately wound up investigating and testifying in her case. For a variety of reasons, I trusted this client and believed her, even though the detective never disclosed the relationship in his report. 
So, during his testimony, I asked Detective Smith, you had a romantic relationship with Ms. Defendant, correct? He goes what? No, and is visibly offended. The judge eyes at me like I've lost my mind, the Commonwealth attorney audibly says what, I'm freaking out because a large part of my cross and argument was focused on the bias formed by the prior relationship, and now I've got nothing, and I've lost all credibility. I try again, Detective Smith, have you had a sexual relationship with Ms. Defendant? As the Commonwealth rises to object and the judge starts to scold me, the detective goes oh, yeah. We've had sex, it just wasn't very dot romantic. Edit update, state is Virginia. The jury acquitted my client of the relatively minor charge that the detective in my story was involved with, but convicted of the other, much more serious charges that detective had nothing to do with. There was a confession and video on the serious charges, so it was kind of a no-brainer. Sorry I'm being kind of intentionally vague, there are no confidentiality concerns, since this all happened in open court, but it's distasteful to give out too much information about a client. The detective was not disqualified, his testimony was not thrown out. Impeachment, no matter how good, doesn't result in you getting to throw out a witness's testimony entirely. By the way, it wasn't really the sex that was the issue, it was that he didn't disclose it to anyone and his repeated insistence under questioning that he didn't disclose it because it was irrelevant. Like Watergate, it's not the crime, it's the cover-up that gets you. But I don't get to demand the judge throw out the testimony or the charge just because the cop failed to disclose a prior relationship with the defendant. I just get to point it out, argue it in closing, and then hope the jury also sees the relevance. UK bear with me on this one. I was in court listening to the most boring old defense lawyer you've ever seen, he was questioning the arresting officer in the case. It was drugs or something like that. Anyway, he's droning on about every little detail, and the magistrate was constantly telling him to hurry along. The arresting officer was getting noticeably annoyed, and the room became empty pretty quick. Everyone was very bored and annoyed. He was droning about details that I'm not sure anyone was really listening to or cared about. Anyway, he went over arrest times and the likes with the officer, time he admitted the suspect and released him. He had bored the officer to the point where he was barely paying attention. So he was admitted in at 21.45 on the night in question. Yes dot and released the night after. Yes dot and that was what? Just after 10 p.m. dot. Yes what time after 10? I don't know, quarter past 10 maybe so my client was detained for more than 24 hours ERM dot wait. The penny dropped. The officer let his guard down and had revealed he kept the defendant for more than 24 hours, which is the max time for detention in the UK. The defense rested and the magistrate threw the case out immediately. Well played sir, well played. So like. Shouldn't time of arrest and time of release be fucking documented? Is that something they doctor on a regular basis? Seems like the attorney should have just been able to grab these records. I was involved in a pretty messy custody case. The other party was a mess and had kept the child from my client for a few weeks. OP was playing lots of stupid games and kept requesting continuances. I requested a drug test, which the judge ordered. However, the OP didn't show up for it, to clarify, he did show up, he just stood in front of the toilet for literally two hours and claimed he couldn't pee. I was representing the plaintiff so the burden was on me. I called multiple witnesses that testified to the defendant's drug use. So, opposing counsel decides to call their client for direct examination and asks, you don't use heroin and crack, right? That is, for the non-lawyers, a very stupid question for many reasons. Especially considering his client didn't show up for his drug test. However, I fully expected the defendant to just lie and say he was clean. After the question was asked, there was a really long pause and the defendant said, yes, I do both of those drugs. My head almost exploded. I didn't ask any questions on cross-examination because I didn't want to muddy the waters. I won, and the child is doing great. <laughs>